What we're doing next, we're clipping or pinning. You're going to sew along this edge, of course, back stitch so your thread doesn't come undone. We're going to do it with this side and this side. Now I've got these sewn around. And now I'm going to place my zippers in each one and use my clips to hold them in place. And then I use my fingers to just maneuver them as they go. My suggestion here is once you put the zipper in, which I did, make sure you don't hit these this metal because it will break your needle and it can fly at your eye, which I had that happen and it hit me in the forehead or something. And I was very scared, so don't go over metal. After I attach my other zipper, make Make sure they work before you install them or you're going to be very unhappy. And then I'll show you how to attach the back, the pocket, to close it. At the ends of your zipper, you're going to want to go back, forth, back, forth. I do mine at least three or four times because I don't want that zipper to get worn out, especially if you're using it on a daily basis over and over again just makes it sturdier. So it's easier if you clip your threads right as you finish whatever you're sewing. That way it doesn't get caught in with whatever you're sewing. It's out of the way. And if you're like me in the beginning of sewing, I used to not cut them because I figured, oh, you're not going to see them anyway. Well, sometimes you can see them through fabric or you'll feel them through there. And other times you have to dig through your project and keep finding them and pulling them out and clipping them. So it's easier just to do it right when you have the time. Now I'm going to fold my large, very large pocket over. And I'm going to clip it going around so now it will be an enclosed area. So I'm going to sew down that line, down that line, down that line. 